Hey guys, OzGrillers here, and today we're going to learn how to put a countdown timer on your stream. Let's do it. Alright guys, first things first, a little bit about this channel is we do tutorials on Streamlabs OBS, OBS and Twitch itself. We also do graphic design videos such as how to make your own emotes and sub badges and upload them for free. We have a podcast called Talking Corner where we go over techniques of how to grow your stream and also just have a great lot of fun. So if any of that tickles your fancy, drop that sub, check out all my other content, there's plenty there. Let's get to the video. All right guys, so here we are not in the right spot. Here we are in streamelements.com and you log into your Twitch or whatever platform you're using and go to my overlays as you can see here. Then create blank overlay. We're just going to call it, we can do what the resolution is 1080p. Hit start. All right, so what we're going to do here is go down to the little at button down here, go to engagement, then go to countdown. All right, so here it is in the top left. It's on a 10 minute one. You can set the time or whatever you want here on the left as well. And then count to exact time, yes. And um, you can also put a message in there for when it finishes. So you could have. Show this when countdown completes ticket and countdown is over, you can change that to whatever. So if you have it on a starting soon screen, then you'd go, the stream is starting, you know, or whatever message you want to put in there when the, when the timer runs out. Uh, so now what we need to do, so you kind of put it where you want to, you can fiddle around with, you know, how big it is, stuff like that. You can change the text settings on it as well. So you can change fonts, stuff like that. Um, we're just going to leave it standard here. Okay, so we're just gonna put it wherever, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna go save. And we're gonna call it, you know, whatever, I'll just call it countdown. And then we go to get link. So you got the link up here, this button up here, so it'll copy the link. Then we go to our stream, uh, Streamlabs OBS, or we can go to stream like normal OBS, depending on what you're using. And we'll work the same way on OBS, but we'll show it on Streamlabs. So you go to Plus, and then you go to Browse the Source, and you go Add Source, and you add a new source, and you call it you know, Countdown, and then you add that, and then where it's got URL, you, cop you paste in the link that you just copied from Stream Elements, and you make the link the width 1920 and the height. 1080 so it's going to fit perfectly in there and then you go to refresh browse when scene becomes active and go done and there it is so you put it around to wherever you want you can make it bigger or put it wherever you want in your screen so i'll go to start screen and we'll add it as well to here so for example, there it is there, and you can just do, like have it like that. And then obviously when it ends, it'd come up, stream is starting, and then you can change the scene, you know, and you start your stream. So it's an awesome way to do it. Um, you can obviously do countdowns for other things as well. So yeah, so that works exactly the same way on OBS as well. So you can use it for stream elements. Most people are using stream labs. Um, so I've just shown it on that. Um, but exact same way, add browser source, 1920 by 1080 and the browser link. And you're pretty much set to go. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, share it to your friends. Uh, but most of all, if you could sub, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, we've got plenty of content out there for streamers and you know, if you've got someone who is starting out or you're starting out or you know, you wanna pick up some tips, please sub, you know, um, and there'll be plenty of more videos coming where that is. Thanks guys. I hope you have a great one.